boy, guy, you, them, they. <laughs> I gotta add all the pronouns. Uh, prom girl, pr Chardonnay. Let me know the Chardonnay. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? It's Friday, and it's time for another chit chat. I've been so busy, y'all. I've been busy ever since Labor Day. We ain't gonna talk about that. We wanna talk about this, what we got going on. So y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv i've been watching a lot of tv actually y'all i'm getting my notes together so with this chit chat we are going to put my hair down let me tell you something i've been this is a mess this this is really a mess i have been so busy y'all tomorrow uh, it's wash day. I have to wash my hair. I need to wash JB's hair. JB actually washes his own hair, but I got him. So all I'm going to do is to really section my hair off into very large twists. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, girl. Um, What's going on, y'all? Let me tell you something. I've been hella busy at work and I'm getting over a cold it is so disrespectful to have a cold while it is... Now the weather has cooled down here in the Dallas area, the DFW area, because it's been raining. So, but still, <clears throat> I literally have been sick off and on for about two weeks. First, I thought it was COVID. So I was quick, baby, to run um, to take a test. We have a couple of COVID tests at home. I took two of those bad boys. They came back negative. So I just think it's some little summer slash fall cold. Um, the cough is the last to go. And I'm still kind of nasally, you know. So it's gonna it's gonna clear up soon. It's gonna clear up. So what else? What else? I'm still struggling with JB at his school. I'm trying to find a tutor for him, and I did contact someone today. He wants me to tutor him, and I just don't know if I have the time to do it. I may start to do it and then pass it on to someone else just so he can catch up. And, you know, I've, I've honestly been very stressed out about this entire thing because literally, like, every week his teacher will text me about something. And it's because he's getting behind in school. He's coming home with tons of work that he can't finish at school. So then he has a ridiculous amount of work to do at home and homework. And my husband and I agreed that <clears throat> we already knew before all of this that he has to go to a school that will take into consideration um, his IEP, his individual um, education plan to help him. And they don't do, they don't offer any services like this because the, the classroom sizes are so small they're not going to do anything. They try, but I'm not going to get too much into it because she was really starting to tick me off, meaning his teacher. Because I'm like, you got 13. This is my thing. You got 13 freaking kids in this classroom. This is how I feel. It's a small classroom and I get it's still a lot, a lot, but it's smaller than your average classroom size. So you should be able to do these things. I just think that it's, it's a combination of things going on at that school. And there's a lot of new kids there. But in my opinion, there's no excuses. Yeah, I'm like that. There's no excuses. So anyway, moving on. Uh, again, he's still adjusting to school. And I'm just being very, very patient about it. Um, what is this? What did I write? Girl, my hair. You see my hair, right? So y'all, I had my hair out for the past two years since moving back to Texas so that people can see it while I'm visiting, folks. They've seen it. We're done. So I'm going to be putting my hair in a protective style. Look, I'm washing my hair tomorrow. It's going up in twists like this. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to do a twist smaller than this, and then I'm going to place my hair in uh, medium twists until I do my hair again at the end of September. Yeah, I'm not playing. And I'm going to a black tie event at the end of November because my aunt and uncle are celebrating, I think it's like over 45 years of marriage. And I'm so excited to go there. Uh, my uncle has dementia, you guys. He has dementia, but he's so sweet still. And this is my dad's, um, my dad's side of the family. So I'm really excited. I'm excited just to get to dress up and see more on that side of the 
the family. Um, Brittany has checked out. Okay, Brittany, I ordered a um Instacart. <laughs> I ordered an Instacart, so. Guys, besides that, ooh, child. So, like I stated in the last chit-chat, my hormones have been all over the place. Not only, guys, hormones have been all over the place. I've been very, very sentimental. I think I'm going through pre-menopause. I just turned 43. It's, uh, my mama said it's definitely going to hit slowly, step by step, but things are changing. And I need to be very, very careful because, be transparent with you guys, I had to take a pregnancy test because my cycle was late. I didn't tell my husband, he don't watch my channel. I know he doesn't, he doesn't watch my channel. But baby, I had to end up taking a pregnancy test and like clockwork, literally three days later, I got my cycle. I was like, praise God, look, I am not trying to get pregnant. I'm on birth control, but I was a couple of days late and I just took three at the same time. And honestly, that's how I got pregnant the time before. I've gotten pregnant that way by taking a bunch of birth, birth control pills and just being stupid. And so I just need to be very careful and mindful of that. Um, like I told you, my best friend got pregnant in Hartford. That was a dang old fax machine. So I wasn't one of the lucky ones that got my, you know student loans reduced before they were like now nah, we ain't doing this shit for y'all <laughs> but what i did do is i was able to do another application i can't remember the exact name of it but this application is for schools that are no longer in service and my why well, i got my master's degree is no longer in service so i'm more than likely i'm gonna have to start paying back on those student loans fairly soon Hold on, before I get into this, I'm before I get into that, let me show y'all what I'm going to be wearing at the black tie event because it is so cute. The dress I got, I got from ASOS. I guess it's called ASOS. ASOS. I got it back in 2020 when my mom was having her 60th birthday party. I purchased this dress and another dress, and I wasn't sure which one I was gonna wear. I was gonna wear, and I ended up wearing the blue dress. So this is a black dress. It's really cute. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. This is the dress. It's thick, thick. So I hope it's off the shoulder, and then right here, it ties in the front. Where's the other side? There we go. And so it comes like this, and you tie it like you tie it like a tie. Okay, so it fits like that. And the shoulder, I don't need to wear a bra because, you know, my boob sits up. It has a long zip in the back. Very slimming. Very, very, very cute. I love the cut. It's very clean. And let me show y'all my accessories. That I'm all about the accessories. Got them. I'm going to be wearing these suede heels. I need to dust them off. And here is my clutch. Just a simple black clutch with gold. I have a gold, cute gold bangle coming in. And then I got these earrings. I have to excuse my nail. I broke my nail. Let me show y'all these earrings. I'm just going for a classic gold and black clean look with gold accessories, black shoes. See these? These are a little heavy. And then my nails are going to be... Um, uh, my nails are going to be a nude. I try to do things y'all classy. Now, this is a little flashy for me because I like this. My nails are going to be nude. And then the ring is going to be like a champagne sparkly. Yeah. Tran is going to do my nails, child. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to wear. And then my hair, more than likely, I will be blowing up my hair and doing a sleek updo in the front. And then I'm going to... um do a twist out for the rest of my hair so it's gonna be down, okay? Cause yeah, it's gonna be down. <clears throat> so, okay, you guys, YouTube. You know what, just in general, online, it's just my, it blows my mind how people like to give their unsolicited advice about something. And what I, oftentimes I see it, hold on y'all. Oftentimes I see it, y'all see I changed my glasses, that have. Did I have these last time? Good, anyway. I see it on videos as it pertains to children. So, it, it just blows my mind. Or people have their opinions and they're so strong. So, there's this video I saw on Facebook where this teacher, she shows how she gets her kids' attention. And she does some type of call 
which I didn't know what it was because I really don't listen to a lot of uh, modern, you know, music nowadays. I really don't. Um, unless it's something really cute, cool. Like I like that one girl, um, Coco Jones. I like her one song, but I've never listened to her entire album. I just never have because it's just whatever. So anyway, I guess the teacher was doing making a sound that's in a rap song by an artist, artist named Sexy Red. I didn't know who it was, who she was. She's a rapper. She has red hair. She wears glasses. Little petite, little chocolate um, girl, right? Young girl. So in the comments, people were like, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing this song to get their attention. So when she makes this noise, the kids say something else in return. I don't even know what it is. At first I was like, oh, that... Is, is that a Sigma call? The Sigmas ain't gonna like this. I didn't know. I thought it was a sorority. Look, that's how out of the loop I am. I thought it was like a, a sorority call. So in the comment section, you got people that were like, why would she do this? Why would she say that? And then you got other people saying, um, I just asked my kid, my child, if they recognize the sound. And I'm so glad my child didn't recognize what this was. And you got other people commenting, you have no idea what your kids are listening to. Your child probably know what it is. And I'm thinking, hell, I don't even know what it is. And look, let me tell you something. I get that you can't control what your children listen and watch all the time. But you really, especially as they get older. So I tested it. I asked JB. I played it for him. I was like, do you know what this is? And he looked at me. He was like, child. He was like, is that when they're calling people at the construction site? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Is that when they're coming to the construction site? My child was so confused, which is I'm glad because he goes to a school where he goes to a school of upper middle class people. A lot of these folks are not from, they don't know, know anything about, you know, they don't even listen to that type of music. So I looked up this artist, Trash. But, and so I guess my point is, is that you have people that was like, you you have no idea who your kids are listening to and you'll be surprised who your kids are. It depends on where you at and who you expose your kids to. And I can honestly say, besides a couple of kids, my child isn't exposed to that audience that listens to that type of music. Does that make sense? So anyway, child, enough of that. So... Oh, this is another thing, too. I guess Prissy P, she's a YouTuber. She had a baby. Her baby is absolutely precious. And yet again, you got people in the comment section. I guess she had her baby's ears pierced. And she got you got people in the comment section going in about her piercing her children's, her baby's ears, excuse me, and how one person said it was child abuse. That's a little bit much. She should have waited. Her child needs to be able to make the decisions. This is the same thing as, you know, circumcising boys. This is how I feel. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But do you really think that you voicing your opinion on that platform, she gives, excuse my language, I'm going to clean it up. You really think she's going to care about what you say? This is another thing. On the flip side, being a content creator to a certain point, you have to expect their people are going to be sharing their opinion, whether, whether you agree with it or not. And I get it, not a lot, but every now and then I'll have someone to share their opinion. Like I said, someone on my page to tell me that she feels like I judge a little too much. And I agree with her. I say, yeah, I, I probably do. What I'm watching on TV, who, everything. So, Archive 81 is this weird not sure type of thriller mystery show that I'm watching on Netflix. Sorry, I'm watching on Netflix. It's good. I'm like on, on episode four. It's weird. I'm like, is this about, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but it is good. It has that actor, and I'm going to have, have his name below, the actor that played in that one movie where he was a wine enthusiast. And he's good. I like him. I like quirky, nerdy people, specifically quirk, quirky, nerdy black men. I like that. I really do. I like the different difference of that. Um, but anyway, it's called Archive 81. 
because I had nothing else to watch and I just wanted to be, you know, laugh at some foolery. I watched Obsessed again with Beyonce and Andrew's fine self. I had to put a hole on, on the yellow jacket hair first because I'm a little confused. I'm on season two. I also had to put a hold on child. What is it called? Cruel summer? Because I'm confused as hell. I'm like, this is a confused ass summer. Forget being a cruel. Uh, <laughs> as far as other movies, I watched a really good, like, one of those movies where it's like, wait a minute. What just happened? Open house or the open house. I was like, what the heck is going on? Just one of those weird, again, on Netflix, weird ass movies where I thought I knew what was happening. And no, no, it, it didn't happen how I thought it was going to happen. Child, um, there was something else. Oh my God, y'all. So I guess a couple of months ago, Quad from Married to Medicine, her child actually, not her child, I do apologize. Her niece, a family member, actually drowned, a child drowned in her pool. There's still so many unanswered questions about that, but from what I understand, there were two adult men that were possibly there and they were supposed to be watching, and the child somehow got in the pool. There's no notice, you know, I really don't know... I, there really hasn't been much information on whether or not Quad was there. I have a feeling she wasn't. That is just so sad. Anyway, y'all, I'm getting all nasally now. I don't know if you can hear it. It's hard for me to talk. I can't even breathe out of one nostril. Ooh, child. So anyway, <laughs> that is it. Okay, let me tell you this. Please put me look out. I am going to be reviewing that Cresso Pillow. I was supposed to do it this week, but stuff just got, y'all, this week just got out of hand. I don't want to use a new product on my hair when I have an event to go to. I'm sorry, y'all. So, no, I will not be doing that before. <laughs> I will not be doing that. Sorry, I will not be doing that. But what I will do, I will do a special video, and I'll take all my camera stuff. Because I, be, I just recorded my phone. I'll do a special video on how I'm going to wear my hair for this event. See, that's something, right? a formal event type of hairstyle and I'll do that for you guys because I am going to do my hair and I'm going to style my hair um I'll be styling my hair while I'm in East Texas so yeah that is it you guys thank you so much for your patience we're in the second month of school here in Texas and there's just a lot going on on in my family life and yeah this is what it is so thank you so much for watching take care bye